How does God speak to me? Our relationship with God is just like any other relationship we have. It requires communication. And just like those relationships, whether they are with a spouse, a friend, or a family member, healthy communication requires listening on both parts. You may be comfortable speaking to God in prayer, but have you ever stopped to ask Him, what do you want to say to me? Do you even wonder how in the world He speaks to you? In John 10, 27 through 28, Jesus says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. This verse makes it abundantly clear that Jesus does speak to us and we certainly can hear him. Even more so, he outlines the benefits of listening to him. He says that he knows us and we follow him. He actually gives us direction for life with his voice. It's only by listening to him that we know which way to go, what choices to make, and how to avoid those things that steal life from us or even threaten to take us from his hand. He is constantly speaking to us, and we have the ability to hear, believe, and obey him. As you read the Bible, you will discover God is not limited in the ways he can speak. In Numbers 22, 28 through 39, he even uses the mouth of a donkey. Sometimes I feel as though that may be exactly what I need in order for him to capture my attention. But seriously, most often God speaks in one of the following five ways. One, a gentle whisper. When you hear from God, it will always be loving, consistent, and in accordance with the Bible. Practice obeying when you hear him speak. Train yourself to recognize God's voice. Everyone makes mistakes when they're beginning to hear his voice, but don't give up. You will learn to take notice when he's speaking to you. Think about the people in your life you know best. With just one syllable, you can usually tell who's speaking to you. My husband and I have known each other for close to 30 years, so now I can easily distinguish his voice even as a whisper. Just like the relationships you have with your closest family and friends, as you go deeper into relationship with God, you will become more and more confident in recognizing His voice. Number two, God speaks through His written word. When you read your Bible daily, you give God the opportunity to speak to you. I cannot tell you how often I have found an answer to a problem or a direction to follow through just reading my Bible. We have to remember that all scripture is the divinely inspired word of God and the Holy Spirit will often speak to specific situations in your life through the verses you read. Ask God to speak to you as you read his word. He will give you exactly what you need. The third way God speaks to us is that we can hear him through a sense of peace. God will guide you with his peace through every situation. There will be times when everything in the physical, natural world looks right, but you just don't feel peace about it. That feeling can be God telling you no. Then there's times when everything around you seems to be falling apart and it's impossible, but for some reason you feel peace about it. That could be God telling you yes, or that things will be okay and to continue on your path. Pay attention to this feeling. It will give you direction. The fourth way God speaks to us is sometimes just through other people. This is why it's important to find a community of like-minded believers. As you pray for guidance, be sure to listen to the wise people around you and ask them to confirm what you believe God is saying to you. Listen for times when a wise believer says something to you that could be a word from God. The fifth and final way God speaks to us is through open and closed doors of opportunity. At times, you will pray for God's guidance and He will use circumstances to answer you. For example, when a door of opportunity closes, He could be protecting you. He loves you and may just have a better plan. And other times, He could be saying, not now. Ask God to bring you opportunities that align with His purpose for you. If he's closed a door, trust he has your best interests at heart. But when God opens a door, no one can shut it.